Hello again, thanks for watching. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. My name is Joseph Catrona. Today I want to look at an option that customers are always asking me about. It's a behavior in the references dialog from the change state action. And sometimes the behavior is as expected and in other cases maybe it's a little bit troublesome. So let's take a look at an example. We can see these parts and this one assembly are waiting for approval. So if in fact it's time I have reviewed this globe valve assembly and it's time to approve that assembly, then it's very safe to assume that the parts that comprise that assembly are also ready for approval. That makes sense. So I'll leave a comment ready for approval. But notice that I automatically checked the default, uh, the children were checked by default. Let me cancel that. I'm just submitting the assembly itself through the past approval transition. And the system assumes that I would want to check all of the child references as well and submit those through the past approval transition. So I'll go ahead and do that and say OK. So the rev changes, of course, and now we can see these files are in the approved workflow state. So that's safe to assume. SolidWorks Enterprise PDM did a great job there in assuming that the children are probably ready for approval if the assembly is ready for approval. However, in some other cases, maybe that's not so safe of an assumption. For example, initiating a change on that assembly. So again, that default behavior is consistent. It's checking all of the child references to change state when the parent changes state. But in this case, it may very well be necessary for the designer to make a decision and not check the two parts that are not affected by this ECO or by this change order. So it needs review. Now I'll go ahead and cancel this and take a look at the option I'm talking about. So one more time, if I submit an assembly through a transition, all of the children are also checked. Of course, this assumes that they are in the same state and that they can pass through that next transition. Conditions are met. Okay, but let's take a look at the changing that default behavior. So as an option under each user account, right click on a user settings references dialog I can see here under some miscellaneous options do not mark referenced files so that's going to flip that behavior let me do it on the admin account which I'm currently using so that we can see it in action so that easily we can change that default behavior so that the children are not selected. So this is a very helpful option for some companies where users, especially if some users are casual users, they're not in the system often enough to really become familiar with that behavior and remember to make the changes and check the boxes and carefully consider. So turning off that behavior, that default of checking all of the children, can sometimes save a file going through a transition that it wasn't supposed to. Hopefully this is helpful. Feel free to leave us a comment if you've used this option, if you found it helpful, or if there is a video that you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.